In this video, we'll highlight the Pathfinder tools found within Quark Express 2019. To begin, the Merge or Split Path tools can be found on your measurements bar, which by default is at the bottom of your screen, but can also be configured to be shown vertically, like this. Here you'll see the seven options. To get started, we'll highlight the Intersection tool. When two or more layers are selected, this option will delete everything except for the overlapping areas. Here, you can see the first shape, and now the second. When we use the intersection function, the furthest back layer in the selection will determine the fill color for this new path. Next is the Union tool. This feature very simply combines the selected items into a single item and shape. You can see how those two items are now a single item. Again, the furthest back item in the selection will determine the fill color of the new path. Now onto the Difference tool. This function will strip the frontmost item from the selected items and leave only the exposed area from the bottom item. Alternatively, you can use the Reverse Difference tool, which will strip the backmost item from the selection and fill the new shape with that bottom layer's fill. Next, we're onto the Exclusive OR feature. This tool is the opposite of the intersection tool. When two items are selected, the areas where they overlap are knocked out, and the exposed areas will remain. This tool will function differently when more than two layers are chosen. Here, we see an array of circles laid out. Once we apply the exclusive OR function, we're left with a very intricate design. One way to better understand the tool and how we got to here is to know that anywhere an even number of layers exist, those overlapping areas will be deleted. Anywhere an odd number of layers are overlapping will be filled with the color from the furthest back layer. Next is the Split All Paths tool. This tool will separate the items from each other until every box within a complex box has been split. If you use this command on a shape that has a hole in it, the hole will become a solid. Last, we have the Join Endpoints tool. This tool does exactly what it says. It allows you to join multiple selections which have endpoints within six points of each other. Here, you can see how the two lines meet in the center and how the two objects become one after using the Join Endpoints tool. 